All right, we move along now. Next game up, it is Pittsburgh and West Virginia. The backyard brawl uh, is back on uh, between these two teams. And we've got uh, Pitt, one-point road favorites, 50, 50 and a half. The total, it's pick them in some spots. Um, people liking West Virginia here in this uh, spot. Now, they did play Penn State first game. Very tough way to start the season. They lose 38-15. They bounce back strong and uh, crush Duquesne 56-17 last week. Cincinnati or Pittsburgh on the flip side. 27 uh, 21 loss against Cincinnati, six and a half point favorites. They lose outright to the uh, Bearcats. We have to give Satterfield credit. Nice coaching. I mean, that's a, they lost a lot on both sides of the football, Cincinnati, especially on defense. And uh, for them to be. People were yeah. ragging them too about yeah. Cincinnati. That this team's not going to win any games and so far. I don't know. It's early. And you got the bad version of Phil uh, Jerkovic, unfortunately. Uh, for mm-hmm. Pittsburgh. And uh, he's, this is now multiple instances going back to his tenure at Boston college where this guy's just had a horrible performance, you know, and before it was all, Oh, the offensive line sucks. The offensive line sucks in, at BC. And yeah, there was some truth to that, but uh, quarterback sucked from what I saw on uh, Saturday against Cincinnati, <laughs> 10 to 32, 179 pass. He did have three touchdown passes, but man, too many missed op- empty possessions, too many stalled drives, 10 of 32, I don't care how many touchdown passes you throw. You complete 10 out of 32 passes. That's not good uh, for Phil Dracovic. I'm shocked that West Virginia's taken money, but at the same – because they're not a team I'm looking to bet. But then you see what Pitt did last week, and maybe you get why West Virginia is uh, taking money here uh, in this game. I still need to see more from their quarterback, uh, Garrett Green. They've had instability there at quarterback the last few years. Certainly was better against Duquesne, but we'll see how he fares here in this one. Um I don't, this is one of those games, too, where I don't want to overreact to Pitt being bad against Cincy. Maybe Cincy's a lot better than we thought coming into this year. Uh, so this is one of those games where I don't think I'm betting it. It's a great watch and learn about both of these teams and where they're at. But I don't know. There's a lot of turmoil with West Virginia. There's a lot of people that want Neil Brown out, say he's in over his head. He's dr- driving the program down. Um, a lot of vultures circling in Morgantown. And that's not a situation where I'm or a team I'm ultra comfortable backing right now. What do you think here, Connor? Backyard brawl. Shout out to, to the chat, Nathan Cerna, our guy Nasty Nate. What's up, my guy? Andrew G, Nathan Cerna, everyone in here, hit the like button. I don't want to bet this game at all. I'll, I'll be quick, like you talked about. And those scores were late for Pitt. I mean, they were down 27-7. You know, those two scores were were in the fourth quarter. Yeah, these are just two programs. I don't want my money on. We got to pick them. Usually this game always good. Backyard brawl. Uh, if I trusted one of these teams I take, especially West Virginia at home, traditionally that's where you want them. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I get to the window with anything here. And I don't think I love either defense either, and the total is a little lower than I expected. So we'll give a lean to the over as well in this 49.5 to 50 uh, range here with uh, Pitt and West Virginia as 